Automobilista 2 is coming to lowfuelmotorsport.com soon. And if we look back into the past a little, R Factor 2 had a very rough time on the platform, which soon disappeared again because player numbers really fell down quite quickly. The same is kind of true for Assetto Corsa, the old one. It's kind of still there, but of course it does not have the participation numbers of ACC. So let's reflect on this video real quick. How Automobilista 2 could become a success and something that stays on low fuel motorsports and has enough players for the whole thing to work out, really. The most obvious and the first few things LFM needs to get right is it first needs to attract the players, meaning they need to have attractive serious cars that people can quickly pick up and play. The second thing is they need to keep them playing another time and again and again because as soon as people have a bad experience at the very start they are going to drop the game faster than you can really look at it so the first crucial bit is to get people to try it and then have positive experiences in their first outing so in order to make sure this is actually happening lfm needs to kind of work on getting people information to get all the procedures right, help people do the starting procedure, do the pit stop procedure and not lose ELO and safety rating in their first attempt on the game because then people will easily drop it again and that will mean player numbers are never really going to reach the critical amount for grids to be full and people really looking forward to race. The other issue is a bit, of course, not many people actually have the time in their hobby of sim racing to invest a lot of time to learn about a new game, which Automobilista, uh, Automobilista 2 is going to be for most people. So there also needs to somehow be a quick learning curve for people and there is going to be some assists needed because there's not a lot of knowledge out there about Automobilista 2, let alone people have the time to acquire it. This also kind of brings us to what actually makes ACC so successful on the platform. And there are a couple strengths about ACC that we quickly want to go through. Of course, the game has changed over time. There were a few patches, but if you look back, we had like one major patch per year that really changed the physics and where people needed to adapt a bit to how the game works. But the underlying fundamentals, procedures and everything rather stayed the same, which made it really easy for people to, once they picked up ACC, to stay on top of the game, so to say, and only acquire the new changes that happened with every patch, which compared to Automobilista is kind of more low level, so to say, and easier for people to, to stay on top there. Also for ACC, there are a lot of content creators. There are a lot of pro drivers that really go deep in the game. So there is a lot of knowledge acquired and extracted from the game. And that knowledge is also being put out there in a lot of content over the internet. So that people who pick up ACC have the option to quickly find that information, put it into practice and understand the game, which makes it easier for them to learn and actually focus on the driving without facing too many issues. The other thing with ACC is because it is only one series and the cars are all more or less the same, even though of course they are specific and all have their own kind of set of rules on, on how they work, it is still the same class and patterns from one car carry over to another. And once you have an understanding of the game in general, you can apply it on all the cars available. So it is again, quite easy to stay on top of things. There's only one tire we have, even though yes, it changed over the course of patches, but there is only one slick tire to choose from. So once you know that tire, you know how it works on all cars, so to say. The problem is a bit with Automobilista 2, all these strengths of ACC are a bit Automobilista 2's weaknesses because the game changes very often. There are huge patches every, I don't know, so often half a year or year, but there are many small patches in between that, that also alter how the game works. And also these big patches change the game more fundamentally than what we are used to in ACC, which means it is more difficult for players to stay on top of the game 
game because they always have to start reinvestigating everything. Of course, this is not true for everybody just picking up the game. They're just learning the status quo and don't have to go all the way back in history. But of course, the game has kind of path dependencies already where players who have Autumn Ballista for a longer time already know things that happened in the past and maybe some things of that will still be there today which you might not be able to see if you're a new player and of course while there are some players of Autumn Ballista too and some maybe do it more frequently there certainly is no competitive crowd no pro crowd around that game that is really keen on digging all the extra lap time out of the cars going through all the setup options to find out what works and not so there's also not this amount of knowledge available as we are used to in ACC and there are also not as many content creators who go deep on information about Automobilista 2. So for new players it is also a bit difficult to acquire new information about Automobilista 2. Which brings us to the next point not that only the information is not available there might also be more information available because we have a ton of content in automobilista 2 there are much more cars classes each with their own tire sets there are perhaps more weather weather opportunities or weather potential weather situations that need to go through and none of that really is explored in all the potential corners that you can go to so there will be a lot of learning to do still. So overall Automobilista 2 is still somewhat of a black box that everybody picking it up will need to go through and kind of bring some light into that black box to actually make sense of the game and be on top of the game and actually start enjoying it without being kind of being kicked in in the back all the time out of nowhere because of a lack of experience. Which brings me to the main point of the video. And that is now once Automobilista 2 comes to LFM, once the 1.6 patch is actually out with, again, somewhat new physics, everybody who wants to play that game and wants to help make it viable on Lofi Motorsports to have full grid, have enough players, you need to dig into that game now. You need to find out that information, how the tires work, how the tire wear works, how you need to warm up the tires, what the tire windows are, how the differentials work, how the aerodynamic maps of the cars work. There is so much to find out and there is equally much to share with the community in order for everybody to get well, a head start isn't really possible, but everybody be able to pick the game up as fast as possible so we can enjoy full grids on Automobilista with something else than the regular GT3s we already know so well from ACC. Um, so yeah, the task is, is clear to everyone. I hope we at Popometer.io will make also sure to record driving data. We are currently working on supporting Automobilista 2. We will work on providing setup. So if you are very familiar with Automobilista 2, if you are a very good, decent driver on the game, hit me up on Discord to... Uh, in order to, to give you access to Popometer to create the data packs, to create the setups, to create and share the driving style that you need for Automobilista because it sure is a bit different than what we're used to in ACC, for example. Um, I will make further videos as well. Once the patch is actually out, we'll dig into how the braking pattern looks, how the throttle pattern looks, how the steering looks, how you probably need to set up your first feedback. Also calling on people to share the, their first feedback files. But please, this is, I need to urge you to be very careful with that because there are a lot of people who are really convinced but don't have a lot of, a lot of knowledge. So please, if you share something, make sure you are 100% certain to not create more confusion than you're creating inside. And then we have opened an Automobilista 2 channel on the Discord, where, which is where you can all share whatever you know. Let's put some for speech back files there, especially for the low end wheels. I guess on DDs, everybody should be more or less fine with pretty much the default settings. Um, and then we'll see how this goes really looking forward to lofi motorsports supporting the game and i hope they choose some nice series and um, a nice rhythm for everybody to to chime in um and that's the video bye